I'm Bonnie Saratori with Spiritual Acceleration, and I want to share a little bit of information about uh, the issue of anger. Okay, a lot of people think that anger is actually a core emotion. What I mean by core emotion is I mean that an emotional wounding, an emotional frequency that gets lodged in our subconscious and that we experience like, for example, we might experience a feeling of loss. We might feel betrayed. We might feel abandoned, rejected. We might not feel love. Those are actual core emotions, okay? The frequency of anger is not a core emotion. Anger is on top of all of those kinds of other true emotions, okay? So what happens if you start paying attention, this is what's really cool, when you find yourself getting angry, when you have a situation and all of a sudden you feel this anger coming up, if you pay attention to what did you actually feel just before that anger. Now, this is something that you'll have to practice because when we have a reaction, immediately we feel the anger. We're not really aware of whatever that emotion was prior to the anger. It's a real quick, real fast kind of energy frequency that we feel. And then we feel the anger. So anger, like I said, is not a core emotion. It's not a core wound. Anger is a reaction to being hurt. Uh, it's also a reaction to feeling in some way like we've been hurt or harmed mentally, emotionally, physically, spiritually, and we, we have a, a reaction to that. So when we feel ourselves having a reaction in our body, let's just say someone says something or maybe someone you know, cheats on us or does something where we have a, a huge, huge anger reaction, okay? Now, what happens is with anger is the energy is going out, okay? We're pushing out, we're hitting somebody else with our anger, our rage, we're making somebody else the fault, the reason why we're feeling this way. But what we're not aware of is that what really happened is they caused us to feel hurt, emotional pain. Okay? So when we are waking up to the reality, the fact, the truth that anger is not a core emotion and that, you know, you, you want to really unravel the, the core wound rather than continually going into an anger state. So when we wake up to, oh, I'm feeling anger, but wait a second, now I know and I understand that this is not the core emotion. There's something deeper. So what you do is all of a sudden, oh, you're angry. You want to lash out. You want to hurt somebody. Get back at them. You have to stop. Stop right then and there. Don't keep going. Pull yourself back in and then ask the question, what did I feel just before the anger came through? Okay. This is going to take a little bit of a practice because we are so ingrained in being reactive, meaning we go right into an anger state when that's actually not the real, real uh, core wound. So as we pay attention we're feeling into our own selves. And we're asking that question, what is this? What is this? What am I feeling? What was that feeling right under the anger? So what you do is you just kind of be with that feeling, be with the anger first, but then the question, the feeling, the sensing is, what was right underneath that? What did I feel just before that? And pretty soon you will start to get a sense of, oh, wait a second, my feelings got hurt. Oh. I felt embarrassed. Hmm. I felt ashamed. Ooh, I felt ridiculed. Mm hmm. I felt humiliated. Okay. So there's all these other emotions that actually got activated that you haven't faced and felt that you've been avoiding because you go into anger because anger is an easy energy. It's like people are afraid of anger. You know, if you're angry, people aren't going to keep saying things to you, or they might back down, or maybe, maybe you'll have a good argument, but basically nothing's getting healed and nothing is unraveling. And if you're listening to this video, then you're wondering what to do about anger. Well, I can tell you, 
you got to heal those, those underlying energies. You have to heal the wounding, the pain that anger sits on top of. Okay. So anger sits on top of all of those emotions, all of them, but it's not the true, true energy. It's not the true emotion. It's not the, the true core wound. So we want to get into that core wound because here's what happens. When we come in and we discover, oh, wow, that really made me feel ashamed. Ooh, so there we go. So now you know, oh, oh, I have shame to deal with. I have shame to unravel. I have shame that I need to face so that I can be done and clear that up. When you do that, here's what happens with the anger. When you face these hurt places, the places you got hurt, the wounded places, the shattered, broken places, and you go through those energies, there's no more anger on top of it, okay? Because you're no longer trying to avoid an emotion. You're no longer trying to push an emotion down. You're no longer ignoring emotion. You have faced it. You have faced it, you have felt it, and you know it. When that happens, that particular frequency no longer resides in your subconscious. Therefore, there's no anger sitting on top of it to have a reaction, okay, to have that anger reaction. So keep remembering, anger is not a core emotion. It always sits on top of some place within, some wounding, some misperception, belief, conclusion, where you actually feel hurt, okay, hurt. You know, maybe there's, uh, like I was saying, there's uh, different, different kinds of hurts, all kinds of different frequencies of hurt, but basically that's what's really happening. The anger's on top of some kind of hurt, right? So have fun with this, play with it, pay attention because you want to unravel your core wounding so you can be liberated, so you can be free and no longer find yourself getting angry needlessly when it's really not the truth. Again, anger is not a core emotion. It is not a foundational emotion, it always sits on top of places where you got hurt. Be sure to like this video and check us out at spiritualacceleration.com.